right, what's going on, diggers and diggers? This is the final hunt ween that we're going to be doing this year. I'm over in my favorite forest of all time. I love this forest so much. Um, the reason why is because I found, actually this whole park in general, I found literally everything up here. You name it, I found it. Uh, a little bit later, I'll tell you the story about something that I found in this park, and it just totally tripped me out. But anyhow, yeah, um, we're still on the hunt for anything I can use in my display. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of different area to cover. I noticed that the better stuff is like literally like in the tree area, not necessarily down the path, which is right here. But once you start getting into the tree area, then you start finding some really interesting things. All right, uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go find some stuff for Halloween. All right, I believe we have our first hit here. I can just find it again. It's kind of like, there it is, somewhere. It's over here, we're gonna figure out what it is. Right there, cool. Let's dig. Okay, it took me half of forever, but we did find that pull tab. Yeah, we've been looking all over for this, wasn't, weren't we? <laughs> Great, lovely. Pull tab, hopefully we'll find something better. Actually, I know we're gonna find something better than the pull tab. <laughs> all right, looks like we got another hit over here. Um, right around this area. It's been high and low, I don't know what the heck it is. But we, we are about to find out, aren't we? Okay, so now we got a bottle cap, <laughs> lovely. <clears throat> but we got lucky on this one due to the fact I set the pinpointer down and I thought I got a sound over here. I guess I was wrong. Says, I know it went off, I heard it go off when I set it down. But Okay, well I guess I was wrong on that. But anyhow, so we got a bottle cap. I knew I heard something. Is this it? Come here. That ain't it. Great. Microscopic piece of tin foil. <laughs> no thank you, <laughs> but we're gonna continue on. All right, we got ourselves a nice uh, solid sound that I'm happy about. <laughs> a lot of these sounds have been like really faint. But yeah, we got something right here. Let's dig it up and figure out what it is. Yep, another pull tab. We do not need, pull, well, we'll donate them, but we don't need pull tabs. We want something better. <laughs> I like that log over there. Maybe we'll detect that way. Okay, there we go, kind of a weird, what, got stuff everywhere? No, over here, it's like high pitch, sometimes it's low. That's a solid high. Yeah, we're hitting this. Well, here's our solid sound. Um, don't know. This looks like a piece of scrap aluminum. I don't think I have any use, but hey, you never know. You just never know. All right, this area is interesting. Um, got a lot of hits in the same area, kind of. Here and there, here and there. Let's see what we got. Okay, another pull tab. <laughs> so far, it's turning out to be one of them hunts, isn't it? Uh, let me just try the pinpointer over here. Maybe there's another hit somewhere. Because chances are the other one's probably just a pull tab. But we do have something. Uh, I'll see if I can do a live dig. It sounds like it's pretty near the surface. Shut up. Always yapping, always yapping. Uh, let's see. I think the camera work sucks, I apologize. But I can't do this one-handed. What in the name of Foley? Stop that. Some chances are it's gonna be another pull tab. <laughs> Sometimes we're gonna have to like move a little bit. I don't think this area is painting out, but move the shovel, that would help. Huh, you know what? I'm gonna dig this one up. Uh give me a minute. Yep. Called it. Another pull tab. Oh lord. <laughs> Alright, let's do a semi-live dig and a live dig at the exact same time. I don't want to do that. Alright, we're going to do a uh, almost live dig, semi-live dig, and a real live dig. Because I got two hits over here. We'll see which one's better. Be a little game. We'll play dueling holes with ourselves. But uh, anyhow, let's see. Um, got it right here. This is my hand. Yeah, um. Story time, real quick story I'll tell you. Uh, this park here, when I said I found everything, I do mean it. Especially in the wooded area here. Is that it? No. Um, I actually found my first axe 
my first axe head here. And what was bizarre is that underneath the axe head, I had another hit. And that turned out to be a gold ring with an emerald in it. What are the chances of that? Finding an axe head and a gold ring in the same hole, one right underneath the other. What do you do? You start scanning the whole area thinking that there was a robbery and you're looking for more <laughs> looking for more gold and stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's one reason why I really like it up here. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's, oh, okay, it's kind of weird. So far, uh, this is cool. Kind of. It looks like it's a little buckle of some sort. Not exactly sure for what, but it is definitely a buckle. So I'm going to check that out. So, so far, that's, a, that's uh, going to be kind of hard to beat. So I'll call that jewelry. And then we'll just a tangent like that, and we'll do a live dig over here. It's like literally like almost right on top, so. Yeah, dueling holes. Oh, yeah, already I knew it was right on top. Pull tab. So we already know who won that one. <laughs> Hole number one wins with the little buckle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna carry on. Okay, here we go, we got a high pitch. That's always a good sign, I like that, so. Now, you guys wanna play the game on this one? It's a high pitch, you know, basically could be anything, you know, so. Make a guess, see if you guys think it's a coin or a uh, silver bit wedding ring, that'd be nice, <laughs> not happening. Well, did you all make a guess? Uh, it could be just about anything. It was a high-pitched sound. It turns out to be this. Looks like it's just a piece of scrap of some sort. But it is kind of interesting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of cool to clean up. I'm just curious. It's probably just scrap. I'm getting my hopes up a little too high. So, yeah, if you pick scrap, you're the winner. <laughs> all right, here we go again. We got, like, all these different hits in a little small confined area. One over here, I think. I know there's one over here, and we got some over here. So let's see what this is. Is it, is it raining? It's flipping raining. Oh, bite me. They didn't predict rain today. I'm digging this anyway. Rusty pop can. No good. Can't use that. <laughs> Um, let's see, was there any other hits around the surface? Because it's starting to come down pretty good now. That's all that is. Okay, I'm going to check the other one real quick. Okay, we got ourselves a mystery item here. Um, definitely metal. I can't make out anything that it says. Um, I don't really have a clue to what this is. We're going to have to clean it up at the autopsy table. I don't know if it was part of a lighter or a battery. I'm just guessing now, so yeah, we'll check it out at the autopsy table. Well, the good news is I think it stopped raining. I'm glad I didn't leave. You guys see this? What in the world am I going to be digging up? This is long. Let's find out. All right, uh, it wasn't one big long thing. It was a bunch of little things all in the row. Uh, I'll, I'll space it out and let you see it at the autopsy table at the end. But yeah, we're just going to continue on and hopefully we can find something better than pull tabs. <laughs> little area here by this big tree. I saw that fell. And we got ourselves a hit. Probably a pull tab. I would not be surprised. Seems like it's kind of long for a pull tab, don't you think? Let's find out. I think the stupid rain is starting back up again. But uh, yeah, we got a Budweiser uh, uh, bottle cap. Budweiser box. Bottle cap. Box. Does anybody know what a trash can is anymore? I, I, I'm just really curious. Yeah, I might have to call it right here because it's starting to come down. It's starting to come down pretty good, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, this is this is basically a sad sight if you ask me. Um. Uh, looks like we got some tarps over here. You got a shirt. Got something in the back over there. A blanket over here. Something over there. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, the people that are homeless live here. Over in this area here. There's something over that way. Um, yeah, I can relate. I was actually homeless three times. but uh, So it is rough. It is hard. But hopefully they, whoever this belongs to can help to get everything back together. And I, hope, I wish them the best. Uh, you got to do it for yourself, you know. Yeah, we're in a little homeless area right here. Okay, we got ourselves a hit over here. Uh, see what it is. Probably just a bottle cap or a pull tab. I would not be surprised seeing the location that we are in. Yep, it's a pull tab. It's a pull tab. 
I'm going to do one more haul and then I'm going to call it. Uh, basically because I do have a lot of Halloween stuff I need to do. So anyhow, we're going to do one more haul and that's going to be it. Let's see what we can find. All right, this is definitely going to be the last one for today. Um, it's like high, low, sometimes high. Uh, chances are it's a bottle cap. I'm going to say it's a bottle cap. Let's find out. No, I was wrong. We had our first coin of the day. We actually found ourselves a penny out here. That's, that's kind of cool, I guess. I'm never going to turn down a penny. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I am happy to find it. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Like I said, I'm still working on my Halloween stuff. But, so I'll see you guys over at the autopsy station. Um, really quick, you know that high low pitch sound? I went to go fill in the hole and I ended up finding a dime. I guess it was in the clump and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> okay, cool. Always double check your hole twice. You never know what you're going to find. Um, yeah, I'll see you at the autopsy table. This is the end complete. This is it. This is the final for Halloween 2019. We're going to go over everything that I found uh, out detecting. I made it out. Actually, I just got done doing a live stream not too long ago on my Facebook channel. We're going to go over some of that. That's thrown in here also. Uh, but let's see. Let's start off with some of the stuff that I got everything kind of like normal. I don't have like Halloween set away from scrap. I just got everything basically normal, and there's a reason why. But first off, um, we're, uh, I found this big piece of metal in the rust uh, when I was out in the forest. I was just dragging it along. And I'm actually going to use this to post one of the skulls. I got about 10 of these hollow skulls, and they all need posts to put on. So this is coming in major handy. Um, I found some of these like little rusted spikes. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. I may have an idea, but I'm really running low on creativity time. So I don't know. We just found that piece of rust. Found this big piece of metal pipe, and I do have a use for that, but I'm going to have to show it to you when I put everything together because that's actually going to be hidden, believe it or not. I found this today. I don't know what it is, but on the live stream I did at 12.15, uh, I found this today, and this is actually really kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but it is kind of neat. I'm probably going to hang that up just for decor, or I might actually use it for like an impalement type thing going on. I'm not sure. Uh, that might not be a bad idea, really. I found a little pin and whatever the heck this is. Uh, ultra crap. Just got regular ultra crap over here. Nothing super big deal. Um, let's see. Odds and ends. Um, nothing really. This actually had... I thought that this was going to be copper or brass, but it's not. I think it's just aluminum. It has writing on it, but it doesn't make any sense whatsoever because it's bent and I can't unbend it right now. Um, I, yeah, of course I found... There is... I know why this... I found it where it was. This was actually in kind of like a field, but this where they do all the carnival rides. So that's actually part of one of the lights from the carnival rides uh that forest was just pole tab heaven that's all it was i mean all i was finding basically was pole tabs out there and it was driving me nuts um i only found four bottle caps that's why you wear gloves that's exactly why the reason why you wear gloves uh surface finds i found the can uh that was over on the live stream yeah, I think that was more than just a homeless area, believe it or not. Yeah, that uh, children... Okay, we're just going to move on to the next thing. I also found some cologne out there. I didn't find the light. I just added that for looks because I think it looks kind of cool. I found a little star. It's a star of death. Urgh. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, a couple of pencils. I found a seashell and we're nowhere near as uh, water. Uh, broken pencil. I may have a use for this, but um, I'm not going to put a lot of time into that. Anyhow, uh, the Hell Scent movie of the week for uh, this Halloween. This is for gore hounds only. All right. If you like torture just for the sake of torture... If you like brutality just for the ever-living love of brutality, you want to get your hands on Guinea Pig Part 1, The Devil's Experiment Collector's Edition, uncut. This is from Japan, once again. Japan has some of the greatest horror films you'll ever see. But this is so splatter gore. Once again, the director got dragged into the courtroom and he had to prove that it was fake. And fortunately for him, he had all the behind-the-scenes footage. I still question the first five to ten minutes of this film. I still question it. But if you're a gorehound and you just want blood and guts, 
45 minutes with no story whatsoever. And if there is a story, I don't speak Japanese. Check out Guinea Pig Part 1, The Devil's Experiment. And Guinea Pig, there's a lot of them in Japan. It goes up to 5, and, well, 5 sucks. Um, anyhow, we're going to move over to some of the cooler stuff. Mind you, next month, starting November 1st or 2nd, it's going to be... Um, digging the given, so that's why I separated this stuff, because this is going to be, most of it's going to be charitable, I'm going to do something with it. Um, anyhow, this here, I dug this up on the live stream, this was the first thing I dug. What is so cool about this? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you probably cannot see it, I will be taking pictures. It looks like there's gems in here of some sort. Um, shiny rocks, um, crystals. I don't know what you guys want to call them. I'm going to try to get it under the light so you can see it a little better. I don't know if you guys can. But you see the stuff that's uh, kind of like shiny? What is that? What What am I holding here? There is metal components to it. If you go to my Facebook page, you see me dig it up. But all in all, I, I don't know what this is. It's kind of neat. I don't want to screw it in case it is something. But anyhow, that's just a little neat thing that I found that's kind of neat. Um, I just realized, I don't think that this is copper. I mean, brass. I don't think this is brass. From there, I thought it was brass, but I'm going to have to take another look at that. I don't think that's brass. But I'll tell you one thing. I did find copper today. I did find copper, so that's going to be donated. Uh, there's a copper little bu buckle. I think that's copper, too. I found these two buttons. Check this out. Check out that button. That's cool. That's a really nice one. And I found this one, like, not too far from it. Those were on the live stream today. I, did, I still don't know what the heck this is. It looks neat. I'm going to have to wash it. I'm going to have to play with it some more, so that's kind of cool. I can try to clean up this little thing, and I don't know what it is, but it could be copper, so I'm going to hold that. Coinage! I actually got some good coinage, which is all this stuff I'm going to be donated. Uh, we got a slew of pennies, one nickel, three dimes. We have three quarters, and I found an Elizabeth, or, uh, sorry, uh, what's her name? I forgot what her name is. Oh, my God. It's a dollar, co dollar coin. Um, why do I want to say Elizabeth? I, I forgot what her name is. I am so sorry. It's just been a long day. I'm officially on vacation, too. Susan B. Anthony. That's what it is. That's the Susan B. Anthony. I dug that one up today on the live stream. I didn't catch this one on camera, though. So, anyhow. Yeah, Susan B. Anthony. But you're going to see the pick of the week right now. All right. I'm going to do something I've never done before. This is the pick of the week. And um, I've never dug it before. I mean, normally you see it after I dig it, but here you get to see me dig it because I know exactly what's here, and I really use it for Halloween big time. Check this out. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see. I apologize for that, but yep, barbed wire. We have some more barbed wire for uh, Huntaween for this display this year. I don't know exactly how much I have left, but yeah, I had this spot pin pinpointed for a while. Anytime I need barbed wire, I usually come up to here. Or I go over in that general area, but I, I need it now, so I'm just coming straight to my barbed wire bank, and this is where it's at. I'm going to see if I can dig up more. And here's my other find. <laughs> we got, got Strappy out here with me. He's going to help me dig a little bit. You going to help me get some barbed wire? Are you? No? No, you're not. You're just going to look for squirrels, eh? So I'm going to continue on with this, because guess what? I think I got more. Oh, yeah, we got more barbed wire. problem is, is that it's so rusty, it's like it's falling apart. It might not even be useful. Yes, I believe that this is the first time I ever dug up the pick of the week before you guys ever even seen it, or I, even I knew exactly what it was. Good news is, yes, I did find two small intact pieces of barbed wire for the display. The bad news is, I think I took all the good stuff already. I think that everything else is just going to be this stuff here, so I think I cashed that one out. But we still got two pieces. Yes, we'll do something with that. All right, uh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to release a video telling you exactly what's going on this Halloween and what you guys can see and how you're going to see the live stream because I'm live streaming the whole thing. I'll go more into detail later. I thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed Huntaween 2019, and you all need to do me a favor. Like, subscribe. Keep the hunt alive, and don't forget, starting November is going to be digging the given. But until then, y'all have a great Halloween. Y'all take care now. Later.